hello friends welcome you to my channel in last video we saw that there are 61 fundamental particles in the standard model or standard theory of particle physics so we saw there are 12 leptons 36 quarks 12 mediators and one higgs boson in this video we will see the characteristics of the particles and their spin now these 12 leptons and 36 quarks are fermions and these 12 mediators and one higgs boson these 13 particles are bosons fermions are the particles that have half odd integral spin like half 3 by 2 5 by 2 and so on and bosons are the particles that have integral spin like 0 1 2 3 and so on okay let's see the spin of leptons now the leptons have a spin half all the 12 leptons have a spin half now 12 lepton means 6 particles and 6 antiparticles so it means 6 particles have a spin half and 6 antiparticles also have a spin half so in total there are 12 leptons 6 particles 6 antiparticles and all 12 leptons have a spin half now let's talk about quarks again all quarks have a spin half all 36 quarks have a spin half we know that out of 36 18 are particles and rest 18 are antiparticles so 18 particles have a spin half and 18 antiparticles also have a spin half and therefore all these quarks all 36 quarks also have a spin half now let's come to mediators all the 12 mediators have a spin 1 and the Higgs boson has spin 0 now for a particle with a spin half there can be two states or two z components or two spin orientations plus half or minus half either the particle can be spin up that is plus half or the particle can be spin down minus half now how do we get this z components so for a particle with a spin s is equal to half the z components are given by from plus half to minus half with the difference of one and therefore we have two states plus half and minus half similarly if there is a particle with a spin one how the z components can be given the z components will be from plus one to minus one with the difference of one and therefore we get three components plus one zero and minus one now a very important thing is that if a particle has a spin one it doesn't mean that it will certainly have all three components so the condition is if the particle has mass then only the particle can have all three spin orientations or the particle can have all possible spin states the particle can be either at plus one or zero or minus one but if the particle is massless then it will have only two orientations that is plus one and minus one and zero will not be applicable now let us use this knowledge of spin states on our fundamental particles let's talk about leptons first leptons have a spin half that means it can have two orientations plus half or minus half it means each lepton whether it is particle or antiparticle will have a spin half and this half can be plus half or minus half so all 12 particles will have a spin half and all 12 particles can have either plus half or minus half similarly for quarks quarks have a spin half and that means it will also have two orientations plus half minus half so all 36 quarks regardless of whether it is particle or antiparticle have the possibility to be either at plus half state or minus half state so we know that there are 12 mediators the first is photon now photon has spin 1 so it can have three components plus 1 0 minus 1 now since the photon is massless so it will have only two components plus 1 and minus 1 now let us go to gluons there are eight gluons now each gluon is also massless so again it will have only two components plus 1 and 
minus 1 and 0 will not be applicable just like photon next mediators are weak bosons and they are w plus w minus and z0 now w plus has mass w minus also has mass and z0 also has mass and therefore these particles will have all the three components plus 1 0 and minus 1 so w plus will have 1 0 and minus 1 all three orientations w minus will have all three orientations and z0 will have all three orientations now the last of the fundamental particles is the higgs boson and the most important one and it has spin zero it is also a boson and since the spin is zero it has only one state and no other possible spin state so friends we saw that the fundamental particles can be largely classified into two segments fermions and bosons inside fermions two another kind of particles leptons and quarks and both have a spin half and half in turn can be plus half or minus half and in the segment of bosons there are mediators and one higgs particle now the mediators have a spin one and that's why they can have the possibility of three orientations plus one zero minus one but these three orientations are possible for the particles with mass like w plus w minus and z zero but for photons and gluons which are massless for them even if their spin is one they have only two orientations possible plus one and minus one and zero is forbidden and in the segment of bosons we know there is one more particle that is the higgs particle and for which we know the spin is zero and it has only one spin state that is zero thank you